Business Solutions. She's been in business for eight years and her business offers support services to other businesses in the form of recruitment, administration assistance and telephone support to help them run more efficiently. She lives in Newcastle with her partner Daniel and her two beautiful boys and her hobbies and interests uh, include all things to do with them. Sarah's previous jobs including working as a qualified chef, catering manager, restaurant manager with 25 plus staff and then she's also trained managers too, I see supervisors before starting her own business. Her mission is to share her knowledge and expertise with her clients and to help them be successful in their own business. And over to you, Sarah, but before you get started, what's something that none of us would know about you? Uh, something that none of you would know is I spent most of my childhood caring for my disabled brother who passed away, but that really helped shape me into who I am today and made me grow up very, very quickly. So that's obviously how I started on my path and very young. Okay, so today, what makes a business and team successful? We're all business owners here. Let's hear it. What stands out? Communication. Communication. Having a plan. Yep. Clear strategy. Yep. Systems. Systems. Knowing your market. Knowing your market. All perfect, beautiful answers. One of them, relationships. So strong professional relationships. Obviously, this is employees. This is your team. These are also your people in the room here, your connections. And also having really great relationships outside of this room with your personal network as well. They all make a massive difference into your business, your everyday life, and how you're gonna get referrals and grow your business as well. So we all obviously know that having strong relationships is what helps and support us, otherwise we wouldn't be in this room today. Culture. As a recruiter, this one hits home for me because it's very big at the moment. Uh, this will determine how successful your team will become. Who has anything in particular in their business that focuses on culture? Anybody? Yep. Oh, like what is it? What is it? Oh, okay, cool. So, <laughs> um, every, the last Friday of every month we do a fit dip, so the whole company gets together, plays beach volleyball, or goes for a walk, or hangs out. Amazing. Sounds great, apart from the exercise part. Um, but I'm sure your team love it. And that's the kind of thing that really stands out. But culture in this room as well. So culture in our business, culture in our life, how we perceive things. So do you have the right mentality in your culture? Giving is receiving, that's basics, and something that you can think about in your business. If you don't have a specific culture in mind, if I said to you, what's the culture in your business like? If you don't have an answer for that, go home and think about it because that's going to make a massive difference to your team in your workplace. Knowledge, who here likes to learn? Some of you. <laughs> well, obviously in our BNI, we're learning every week. Uh, with our CEUs, but also learning in our business. We do personal development. Uh, you know, we do um, business coaching, for example, is a big one. That's you're progressing yourself, you're progressing your business and learning in that same sense. So knowledge obviously makes a massive difference as a business owner and in your business. Attitude. So are you going to work with clients? Who here works with clients with a bad attitude? Does anybody keep them around for their money? Sometimes, yeah. Uh, hopefully, you'll get to the point where you don't need to do that. <laughs> Shade, throne. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> so, obviously, this impacts our daily life. How we wake up in the morning, how we go into the office, how we're talking to our clients, how we're talking to our employees. They all make a massive difference with just how your life is going to be on a daily basis. If you're obviously waking up in a bad attitude and you're having a bad conversation with someone, that's going to throw you off. And we all know as business owners that that is really, really important to us to ensure that we're maintaining that positive attitude. KPIs. So who has KPIs in their business? Yeah, we should all have KPIs because without a goal, what are you aiming for? So KPIs, for those of you, obviously targets, goals, accountability. Uh, we all need accountability to succeed. And as business owners, when we create that accountability for ourselves, we're going to be moving a lot faster and getting a lot more done. Acknowledgement. So who here acknowledges their employees? And how do you do that? Bonuses. Yep. Little vouchers and stuff like that. Yep. Do you ever tell them as well, you're doing a great job? <laughs> 
I recommend that one. Um, other two are very, very good ideas, of course. However, prime example, when you present here in BNI, that day is generally about you. So when you present, you are telling people about your business, you're telling people about you, and then at the end of the meeting, everybody is giving you that testimonial. They're acknowledging you. They're acknowledging your skill that you've done. They're acknowledging you as a person, and everybody likes that. So if you like that when you're here, your employees are going to like that as well. So that's something to keep in mind that really ties into this room, but then ties into your business. Innovation. Obviously, the last few years, I'm sure, have proven for a lot of us that innovation is key to success. And obviously, that can look in a whole bunch of different ways for innovation, depending on your industry, whether you've gone from a lot of face-to-face -to, -face to online and things like that. Oh. Touch it. Nope, there we go. <laughs> Does all of this sound familiar? Does anybody know where I'm going with this? The BNI core values. Yeah, so everything that I've gone over that's just hit home to you, you've thought about, you've resonated with, that is all. I've just reworded the core values in a business sense. And that's part of the reason why we're here today is to look at we are a part of BNI. What does that mean to us? Do we just brush that off or are we resonating with it? Because the core values is what resonates with your business as well. Because it's the same mentality. So if you're going to create a brand that's going to give you a great experience, you have to be thriving off your core values. These have to be implemented because they're going to shape every single part of your business. If everyone in an organisation grows in the same direction, so if everybody in your team is growing in the same direction, have the same goal, you're going to dominate your industry, and BNI is just a prime example of that. Because what other networking groups do you know that are this large, this connected, and this successful? We share the same core values. And that is me. Thank you very much.